The purpose of this video is to describe the process of reverse osmosis. An easy way to explain reverse osmosis is to first explain osmosis. Based on the laws of physics and chemistry, osmosis is a natural process where a liquid containing a low concentration of matter, called the solvent, will flow through a semi-permeable membrane to a liquid containing a higher concentration of matter, called the solute, until both liquids have the same concentration of matter. Our skin is a good example of a semi-permeable membrane. When we soak in bath water for a long period of time, our skin plumps up. The bath water is entering our skin cells by osmosis. The difference between osmosis and reverse osmosis is that osmosis is a process that occurs in nature through scientific principles with no human or artificial intervention. However, reverse osmosis can only be achieved by applying pressure, usually water pressure, to the liquid containing higher concentrations of matter to force it to travel through a semipermeable membrane. Man-made semipermeable membranes used in reverse osmosis contain holes or pores so small that only solvent molecules such as water can pass through the membrane. All impurities are rejected by the membrane and not allowed to pass through. This slide depicts a container separated by two compartments by a semi-permeable membrane. The membrane is sealed so water can only flow through the membrane and not around it. Water containing two different concentrations of matter is represented by the two shaded areas inside the container. The darker shading represents the water containing a higher concentration of matter or the solute. Left to the forces of nature, liquid will tend to flow from the liquid containing a lower concentration of matter, the solvent, to the liquid containing a higher concentration of matter, the solute. Osmosis occurs when the solvent passes through a semi-permeable membrane to dilute the solute until both areas of liquid contain the same level or concentration of matter. This slide is similar to the second slide. It also depicts a container separated into two compartments by a semi-permeable membrane. The membrane is sealed to the walls of the container, so water can only flow through the membrane and not around it. Water containing two different concentrations of matter is represented by the two shaded areas inside the container. The darker shading represents the higher con water containing a higher concentration of matter, or the solute. This time pressure, represented by the red arrow, is being applied to the liquid containing the higher concentration of matter, causing it to flow in a reverse direction through the semi-permeable membrane, as shown by the blue arrow. Slides 2 and 3 demonstrated that by the process of osmosis, the solvent would naturally travel through a semi-permeable membrane to dilute the solute. But this slide shows that when enough pressure is applied to the liquid, the osmosis process can be reversed and the liquid is forced through the membrane in a reverse direction, resulting in reverse osmosis. Reverse osmosis was perfected by the U.S. Navy to remove salt from seawater and produce drinking water for submarines. In practice, reverse osmosis is used to purify water by removing contaminants such as salt from the water at the molecular level. The impurities remain on the solute side of the semi-permeable membrane while only pure water can pass through. You can learn more about reverse osmosis water systems and membranes at www.reverseosmosistechnologies.com.